Hello everyone. Welcome to the another interesting video in the Catalon Studio. Recently, Catalon Studio team have released a new version of Catalon Studio that is 7.8. So in the new version of the Catalon Studio, they have introduced some feature that will help us in debugging of the failed test cases. So the first feature which I'm going to discuss is called the time capsule. And I personally like this feature very much. So assume a scenario where you have 15 test cases in a suite. And when you run the suite, out of 15, three of the test cases got failed. In order to make sure that these three failure are because of a bug or it's a problem with the test script, automation engineer has to manually reproduce the issue. Now with the help of time capsule feature, you don't need to do that. When the time capsule feature is enabled and whenever there is a test failure, automatically Catalon Studio will save the state of the failure. And later on, you can restore that state and fix your test script. So let me show you this with an example. So for the example, I'm going to consider this particular test case. In this test case, I have automated the appointment booking feature. So let me go ahead and update the locator for this test object. And we know that with this locator, there is no test object available on the web page. And let me run this script. So now the Catalon Studio is searching for that particular test object, which is not present on the dome and due to which our test script will fail as it is not able to locate the test object. So our test script is failed. And as you can see here, there is a link in the log viewer. And this link is coming due to time capsule feature. When I click on this link, Catalon Studio will automatically restore the state of the test failure. And then I can fix my test script. So this is the place where our test script got failed. And let me change the locator back to the original one. And then save it. And let me rerun the test script again. For this feature, you don't need to do anything extra. This feature is enabled by default in the Catalon Studio 7.8. So our test script is passed. Same thing can be achieved when you are running the test in a test suite. So let me again change the locator back to the invalid one. And this is the test suite which I'm going to execute. So our test suite has a failure. Now let us look at the reports. So this is the report. And in the report, we have a link using which we can fix the failed test case. So the moment I click on the link, it will restore the state of failure. And let me rerun the suite. So as you notice that this feature is really helpful in fixing the failed test case. Now this feature is only available for the Chrome browser currently. The next feature which I'm going to discuss is called browser based recording. Catalon Studio will record every interaction on the browser irrespective of whether the browser is in the background or in the foreground. And this feature is really helpful when you are running your test in the headless mode. So to enable this feature, just go to project settings, execution. And from here you can enable the feature. 
once you have enabled the feature you need to add certain capabilities for the specific browser currently the browser based recording is only available for chrome edge and headless chrome browser so once you have enabled this setting just go to desired capabilities web ui and in the corresponding browser and add this command line parameter so i have added for chrome as well as chrome headless so let me go ahead and run this suite in the headless mode so browser based recording is really helpful when you are running your test in the headless mode as the test is running in the headless mode you are not aware of what are the interaction happening once you have recorded the execution you can easily debug it later if there is a failure so the execution is done in order to view the recording just go to the reports open the recent report which is this one and next to the name of the test case there will be the link to the video so just click on it and it will start playing the recording the next feature which i am going to discuss is called self failing feature this feature is used for the test object as we know that when we create the test object in the catlon studio a default locator is associated with the test object and this locator will be used by the catlon studio to identify this test object in the web ui during the runtime if the catlon studio is not able to identify the test object with the default locator during the runtime it will fail the script imagine that if there is a mechanism available which will try a different set of locator for the test object before throwing the exception that it is not able to find the test object on the web ui and self failing exactly does that so when you capture the test object using the catlon studio spy catlon studio automatically generate preset of locator for the test object and during the run time when the default locator fails to identify the test object self failing kicks in and then catlon studio tries to use the predefined set of locator to identify the same test object if any of the predefined set of locator succeeded catlon studio will give us the option that do we want to replace the default locator with the newly identified locator so let me show you this with an example so let me open this website in the catlon studio spy web and try to capture the locator of the login button this is the default locator and these are the predefined set of the locator which catlon studio generated let me save this locator so i am going to change the default locator in this case catlon studio will not be able to identify this test object using the default locator and that time we will see that how the self healing mechanism kicks in and then i will update this script to use the new login button test object this script just log in inside the application and check for the appointment that is the overall flow of this test so this is the new test object for login button and then i will save it and let me run this script in the chrome browser So as you can see here currently catlon studio is not able to identify the test object for the login button because of the invalid locator So now the self healing kicks in and catlon studio use the new locator to identify the test object for the login button and that's how our test script is passed Now let us look at the self healing inside it clearly highlights that this is the broken locator and this is the proposed locator and this proposed locator is again coming from the predefined set of the locator which catlon studio generated while we use the spy web for capturing the test object for the login button so this is the proposed locator so i can select this one and just click on approve and then when i open the login button test object again you can see here the selector has been updated with the new locator 
So this is the advantage of using self healing feature. So whenever there is a failure, just because the script is not able to identify the test object, Catalon Studio self healing feature will kick in and it will try multiple locator before finally marking the test script as a failed because it's not able to identify the test object. So by default, this feature is enabled. You can disable this feature by going to this button and selecting this option. So if you want to provide the configuration for self healing feature, you can just go to the setting of that feature. When we use our spy web for capturing the test object for the login button, it used the X path to generate all the alternative locator that can be changed by going to the project settings, test design, web UI, and from here you can select the attribute. So next time when you use the spy web to capture the test object, these are the attribute which will be used for generating the predefined set of locator. This time, Catalon Studio did not use the X path, instead it used the attribute and these are the list of attributes. So these are the some new features which are introduced in the Catalon Studio 7.8.